Hello there, Twilight 4 b is just about to start. Some of you might have heard this already. I'm actually not going to have that twist I mentioned in the last video. The prize for Twilight 4 is a double response prize, plain and simple. Next, let's see who's getting those 5% bonuses from Twilight 3. Deep Data 1 wanted me to choose three random people who used the word anti disestablishmentarianism to get the prize. So I did randomly choose, and these are the three people I got. Jumma Talk, Nihao Gailan, Sumner the Pi Guy, and Years Animations were lucky enough to get 10% each. So you know what the prompt was. Try to use as many of these 10 words as you can in a coherent response. 487 voters cast 672 votes. All responses got between 17 and 60 votes. Who won? Well, astonishingly, the number one contestant got 76.48% without the help of any prize points. And that person, if you can believe it or not, is... John Petrucci, with his response, Breaking news, world's first dodecahedron factory closes after aardvark attack. If we ignore prizes, John actually beat second place by a whopping 6%, which is the largest gap in 12 history. Also, two Johns got the top two spots. What a coincidence! Can I just say that we have too many awkward aardvarks? I'm starting to feel like there are more fictional aardvarks in Twow than there are real aardvarks on Earth. 42 out of 202 entries used the phrase awkward aardvark, but its commonness didn't hurt performance. Entries with this phrase got an average pre-prize score of 50.39%. But that leaves me wondering, how often were each of the 10 words used? This much. Clearly, longer words are harder to use. So that's cool and all, but which words impressed the voters the most? I'll find this out by taking the average score of all entries that used that word. Well, I was surprised by how similarly each word performed. But anti-disestablishmentarianism came out on top with an average percentile of 52.32%, and Farsi came out on the bottom with an average percentile of 48.96%. Astonishingly, the words are sorted perfectly by their length. Five of the top ten responses Talked about cruel factory working conditions, Hazel Cricket's response sounds like an ad for worlds that are produced in factories. Poilik098 and Ronin, good job on using juxtaposition correctly. After all, it was the hardest to use word. Whiskerando, somehow with using only two words, you still hit the top 10, maybe thanks to mentioning Yoyleberries. And Reed Posy, you managed to use alliteration on 7 out of 10 words, but Joseph Howard beat you with 9 out of 10, though it could have been a 10 out of 10. Here's some other people who alliterated very well. There's not much special to note about controversial responses. Anyway, did you survive? Out of the 202 entries, you needed to land in the top 162 to be safe. We're doing things a bit differently this time. These 62 people haven't found themselves on the leaderboard yet, and there's only 22 safe spots left. Let's see who's safe and who's not. We part with the souls of another 22 hours. Your participation on the show has made our lives so much richer, and Twow will never be the same without you. They used to always say, once a Twower, always a Twower. The same is true for you. Your contributions will never be forgotten. How many of those 10 words did responses typically use? I recommended 2 to 4, but the average pulled way ahead at 4.31. Here's a histogram of the data, ranging from zero words in Gabe LaSalle's response, which I secretly hoped would win, to nine words in Dean Ed's response. Nobody used all ten. 
Although I thought that using too many words made responses too stilted and forced, it appears that using more words actually did help a little bit, unless you're Whiskerando. Okay, moving on. I'm bringing Meester Tweester back because it looks like it was just a YouTube PM bug that prevented me from receiving their TWAL4 response. So that means 163 of you will be competing in TWAL5. With only 163 contestants left, you guys are in the top one-third. To summarize, here's who's still in and who's eliminated. If you're eliminated, you won't be able to send me any more responses for upcoming TWAL Season 1 prompts. The fifth prompt is, write a haiku about plants. A haiku is a short poem of lines that have 5, 7, and 5 syllables each. You still have to follow the 10-word maximum. And also, if your worried line breaks won't show up well in the voting video, don't fear, because I'll use slashes to indicate new lines. Top tenors of 12-4, you get to submit two haikus, and only the higher voted one will count. That's it. The submission deadline will be February 10, 2016 at 10pm UTC. 12-5 prizes will be announced in the next video. I'll see you then.